Welcome back to Fox Recaps. Today, I'm going to explain the movie Miracle in Cell No. 7, released in the year 2019. The movie opens up with a girl, Ova, looking in the mirror wearing her wedding dress. She suddenly stops her makeup and listens to the news being broadcasted in the background, which states that the death penalty is finally being removed from the Turkish constitution. It also mentions that the last time the death penalty was executed was in the year 1984. Hearing this, Ova pulls the drawer of the dressing table and takes a closer look at the metallic cigarette box. The scene then shifts to the year 1983, where Ova is a child and gets praised for good work by her class teacher, Mine. After school, Ova runs to her father, Memo, an autistic patient. As Memo behaves like a small child, Ova's classmates make fun of him, but they're stopped by Mine. On their way back home, Ova notices a red Hades bag inside a shop. She asks her father to get it for her, but when Memo checks the amount of money he has, he realizes that it's not enough. Despite this, he promises his daughter that he'll get the bag for her soon. Later, while Memo is looking after his cattle, Ova asks her grandmother, Nene, why her father is different from others. Nene replies that Momo has the mind of a child inside him, and Ova should be wary of those who try to make fun of him. The following morning, Nene and Memo prepare a basket of sweet apples to sell at the parade happening during the day. Nene talks about the Hades bag with Memo and reminds him that their main aim is to sell as many apples as they can and get the bag for Ova. Moments later, Ova and Memo approach the market where the parade is going to take place. Meanwhile, the army generals present there are greeting each other, and another group is marching to the place. Right then, an army officer pretends to tie his shoelaces, and when the group goes forward, he runs away from there. Soon, the parade begins, and Ova also takes part in it. Memo starts selling his popsicle apples and earns enough money to buy the bag for Ova. After the parade is over, Memo and Ova run to the shop to buy the bag. But to their bad luck, the bag has already been sold to an army general's daughter, Seja. As the bag was the last piece of its kind in the shop, Memo begs the army general, Aiden, to give the bag to his daughter, but gets slapped when he tries to pull the bag from Seja. In the next scene, Aiden is enjoying a picnic with his family and friends near a lake, where Momo is looking after his sheep. Seja, carrying the same backpack, comes in front of Momo and asks him to follow her to the rocks present on the bank of the river. Seja reaches on top of a big rock and, realizing the danger, Memo tries to stop her. Unfortunately, Seja slips and bangs her head on one of the rocks before falling into the river. Seeing this, Memo jumps into the river to save her. At the picnic, Seja's mother realizes that Seja is not around and asks the other kids about her. The kids tell her that they saw her playing with Memo. Aiden also hears this and decides to look for his daughter. On the other hand, Memo brings Seja out of the water, but unfortunately, she's already dead. Right then, Aiden and his group arrive there and take Memo into custody, thinking that he killed Seja. Following this, Memo is brought to the police station and is beaten badly till he agrees to confess to the crime. Aiden also meets with Memo alone and releases his anger by beating him up further. Meanwhile, Nene and Ova arrive outside the police station where they're informed that Memo has been arrested for killing a little girl. Nene walks to the officers and tries to make them understand that Memo cannot be the one who committed the crime, but no one listens to her. Left with no choice, Nene and Ova wait the whole night outside the station, hoping that the police officers will leave Memo. The next morning, Ova tries to enter the station to meet her father, but is stopped by the guards. In the meantime, Memo is put inside a police car and is taken away from the place. On his way, he notices Ova and tells her that a one-eyed monster saw everything about what happened in the lake. Hearing this, Ova tells Nene that the one-eyed monster means an abandoned fort near the river and that she's sure her father is trying to tell her something. Without wasting any time, Ova rushes towards the fort. On the other hand, Memo is brought to the prison, and the officer, Farak, who brought Memo there, instructs the warden of the prison, Nail, to treat Memo very strictly. In the next scene, Ova reaches the fort and finds the runaway soldier, Asker, preparing the place to hide. She approaches him and asks him if he saw the accident that happened with her father in the river. Asker replies that he saw everything and also mentions that her father is innocent as he was just trying to save the girl. 
Ova becomes happy hearing this and asks Asker if he can bring Nene to hear this from him. After Asker agrees, Ova walks away from there. Elsewhere, Memo is taken to a cell where he's confronted by other prisoners. Oskorozlu, one of the prisoners, asks the guard about Memo's crime, and despite the warden refusing to share the information, the guard tells Oskorozlu what Memo did. Later, while Memo is preparing his bed, Oskorozlu sits with his prison mates and tells them about Memo. They immediately become enraged and beat the innocent man mercilessly. Meanwhile, Ova takes Nene to the fort but becomes sad after not finding Asker in his hiding place. After seeing the critical condition of Memo, Nail proposes to transfer him to another prison, but Aiden refuses to do so. He mentions that he wants him to get hanged for his crimes, and also orders the prisoners inside Memo's cell to not touch him. In Memo's cell, Askorozlu is the one whom everyone follows. On the other hand, Askorozlu admires Yusuf, who keeps on looking at a strange stain on the wall. Hafiz is another prisoner of the group who gives life lessons to others, while Selim is the prisoner who doesn't care about anything happening around him. Ten days have passed by, and Ova can still be seen waiting for the soldier to return to the fort and tell everyone about the truth. Her class teacher, Mine, arrives there and asks her the reason for not attending school. After knowing about her father, she promises to take Ova to meet Momo if she regularly attends school. In the courtroom, Memo is found guilty and hence given a death penalty. Everyone is devastated to hear this, even his prison mates. Later, when Mine brings Ova and Nene to meet with Memo, the prison guards forbid them, following the orders of Aiden. Luckily, Nail notices Mine, and after knowing that Memo has a daughter and a mother, he agrees to help them. However, they're surprised when they cannot find Ova around. Elsewhere, Ova has gone to the walls of the prison where she starts calling out her father's name. Memo hears his daughter's voice and runs to the yard. When Ova tells him that the one-eyed monster saw everything, he celebrates and becomes very happy. However, to their bad luck, the prison guards arrive there and take Ova and Memo away from the wall. Meanwhile, the cellmates witness the innocent behavior of Memo and the way he loves his daughter and come to the conclusion that he is innocent. They also want Memo to meet his daughter before his death penalty. Following this, the prisoners start to take good care of Memo and accept him as a member of their group. Later at night, when Oskorozlu is nearly attacked by another prisoner holding a knife, Memo saves him. This act of selflessness surprises Askorozlu, and he decides to repay the favor by sneaking Ova inside the prison and surprising Memo. The following day, Askorozlu speaks with his contact from outside the prison and requests him to sneak a little girl inside. Moments later, the contact brings Ova and Askorozlu's wife to the prison and makes Ova stand near a door. While Askorozlu makes it clear to his doubtful wife that Ova is not his daughter, Ova is pulled inside from the door and later brought to the prison room in a cart. After entering the cell, Ova slowly steps out of the cart and greets her father. This startles Memo and he has a hard time believing that Ova is actually standing in front of him. Soon he hugs her tight and Ova tells him about the soldier she met at the fort. On the other hand, Nene searches for Ova all around the house, and when she fails to find her, she gets a heart attack and dies. Moments later, Oskoros Lu arrives at the cell and finds out about the witness who can prove Memo innocent. He praises Ova for her smartness and tells her that her time at the prison is over and she must return home now. However, Ova and Memo do not want to get separated. Seeing this, Oskoros Lu tells Ova that Memo is sick and needs to take a rest, assuring her that he will be home as soon as he becomes well. Following this, Ova asks everyone about their illness. And one by one, the prisoners tell Ova about their crimes, representing them as diseases. Ova approaches Yusuf and, seeing him staring at a stain on the wall, deduces that the stain resembles a tree. Yusuf is taken aback to hear that, as Ova is the first one who found out about his visions. In fact, Yusuf had killed his own daughter and buried her under a big tree. While the group is conversing with Ova, Nail arrives there after getting information that a little girl has infiltrated the place. Everyone tries to hide Ova, but the innocent Memo reveals that Ova is hiding under the bed. Enraged, Nail yells at the prisoners for breaking the rules of the prison and mentions that they will be punished. When Nail tries to walk out, Oskorozlu stops him and asks him to help Memo prove his innocence. 
He also tells him about Asker and requests Nail to find him and save Memo's life. Furthermore, Oscuro's Lou tells Nail that he cannot trust anyone other than him, as he believes that he always stands for the truth. In the next scene, Nail asks Ova about Asker and takes her to the fort. There, Ova meets Mine, who tells her about Nene's death. Hearing this, Ova cries and hugs Mine. Meanwhile, Nail speaks with the local people and searches the fort. After a bit of investigation, he finds a rifle hidden behind the rocks and deduces that Ova is telling the truth. Later, Nail asks for help from one of the army officers, Farak, but he refuses to help him, telling that the case is related to the army general, Aiden, and he's afraid of losing his job. Despite this, Nail is still adamant to find the runaway soldier, Asker, and prove Memo's innocence. In the following scene, the prisoners can be seen visiting their family members after a long time. They accept that Memo made them realize the importance of their family. At the same time, Mine talks with Nail and gets to know that the prison has already received orders to prepare for the death penalty of Memo. Ova is also talking with Memo inside the prison room, where he starts crying after she tells him about the death of Nene. Following this, Asker is finally found and brought to the prison. He tells everything about the incident to Farak, and the latter immediately rushes to Nail and informs him about it. Unfortunately, one of the prison guards goes to Aiden and informs him about the witness being found. Aiden then orders the guards to bring the witness to him, and when Asker starts telling everything about the accident, Aiden shoots him and kills him instantly. When Nail and others arrive there, Aiden tells them that Asker was again trying to escape, so he shot him to death. The next day, Ova is brought to the prison to meet with Memo, but she does not know that it's her last chance to be with her father. Memo also tries to control himself, but after some time, he breaks down, mentioning that he does not want to die leaving his daughter alone. Eventually, Memo is separated from Ova and is brought back to prison. Later at night, when it's time for Memo's execution, he greets goodbye to his cellmates and is taken outside for execution. Nail and the other prison officers are devastated, but they can do nothing but watch Memo being executed. The following day, Farak and Nail come to visit Ova and hand her a metal cigarette box. Here, Nail starts telling Ova about a plan he and the other prisoners made some days before to save Memo. The scene then flashes back to the time where Yusuf mentions that he saw his daughter in his dream and wants to save Memo by sacrificing himself. Oscuro's Lou informs Nail about this, and together they make a plan to swap Memo for Yusuf. Yusuf then greets goodbye to his cellmates and leaves the metal cigarette box before he's taken away for execution. In the last scene, Ova reunites with Memo and becomes very happy to see him back. Nail and Farak also help Ova and Memo to go away from the country, boarding a boat for them. The movie ends with a grown-up Ova looking at the metal cigarette box and appreciating the immense sacrifice that Yusuf made for her and her father. That was all from the video. I hope you liked it. Subscribe for more content like this and hit the like button to help us out. Also, leave a comment if you want us to recap your favorite movie. Until next time, take care.